Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Femi. In this video, we're going to be looking at Vue. Vue actually helps you to be able to ensure that you can aggregate, um, you know, specific named columns and as well as um, you know rows of data data um, based on what you really want to retrieve from the database so there are cases where you want to retrieve things from like uh, multiple um, tables from a database and this is where view can actually really help you instead of you having to um, always write the query every time you need to uh, you know get your data you can actually set up a view that already has the query and it will just fire off and get the data that you need and we have different types of um, views so we've got um, the indexed view got partition view got the system view and in this demo we're just going to be looking at the basic view you know how can you even set up a view and how does it actually work so let's just move into the ide so in here um we'll just we have a from from the previous video we had this db we we set up which is actually a, a you know the record you have the person stay with us like three records in there and then it has addresses so let's say there are cases where you really want to for instance um you know fetch information from these two tables and you really don't want to um you know always write the query all the time you just want to set up a view that you can just call directly so this is how you actually set up a view let's open up a new query and then in here you have to use the command create and then followed by the keyword view and then followed by the name of your view so let's say that this is actually a um let's say persons persons details uh persons detail view let's just call it that and then you use the keyword as and in there then you can now write your query whatever your query is so let's write a um, a query let's say select list from person uh, p p i'm just gonna use p as my alias um you can say p and then you can now do uh, inner join inner join um, address a we have just put a bracket square bracket there you can now say on p dot person person id equals a dot person id and then um this is actually going to be our view right okay so you can see there also it's complaining about something let's zoom in so you can see what it's complaining about it says the column date created was specified multiple times for person's data view so that's where alias actually plays a very good role for us because now i can now specify that i want um p dot star comma and a dot star you can actually like use this this way or or basically uh let's see okay still complaining then we, we might just have to like specifically say that we want um like we can choose from what columns that we want right or we can actually say um date p dot date created as persons person date created date okay Bring this a little bit back and then we'll do the same thing for for a which is um, a a dot it created as address created it right and then we can list all the rest so you can either list all the rest and say p dot first name p dot last name then p dot uh middle name and actually just move this to the right place just move there so you can follow that sequence 
we have that and then we can actually say p dot person id comma we can see that we've actually like specify all the things we need in the person's um, table and also we can actually do the same for our address which is um let's move this i just want to put it in a very like structured order okay like that and then we say a dot address id a dot address one and we say a dot address two and then a dot city a dot country a dot postal code so like this actual sequence is something like something like this similar to this where you can have all of this then you can actually just say address information information and then we can say person information so yeah, you can see we've got that now so if i actually run this this will actually create the actual view for me inside of this db remember what i've mentioned in my previous video when you, whatever you set here is gonna be the the actual db in use <clears throat> so always bear that in mind so in there you can see this is how we create a view so I don't have to always write this every time I want to get this set of data. Okay. And what I can do now is I can actually, another thing you can do is before you create a view and actually just make sure that you do you over on the actual command that you're about to create as a view, the query command and the query that you can see there. Okay. Is this what you want to see? If this is what you want to see, then, then that's perfect. Then you can actually just execute it. And that will create the view for you and this is where you can find the view um under this folder called views so if i refresh that let's expand it see that i have something there now so that's how you can actually create a view okay and also there are cases where you might need to alter the view maybe for for some reason um you're not you don't want to add date for address if you want to remove that date then you can just re re like adjust that to say alter okay so you can just say alter view um okay object not valid so let's just go to um edit and intellisense let's see if this is a cache issue um alter view okay so it's happy again but remember i removed um i removed the date now i don't want to date but before we even do that i just want to like see what is actually my view so basically i can do this and say select list from so i can actually also query it like a table and that should give me information as you can see there that already gives me the information that i need so this is how you actually like create a view that you might want so this actually helps you to um you know come up with you know different sets of columns um records or rows of records that you want to and you can also like add where clauses to it if you want to, to say where you know where um person id equals six so this would this will basically um just make sure that we you know we get only just one record from the from the actual view so this is how you set up a view which is actually something um you know straight to the point so let's go back to the actual alt, um like altering this view because remember we don't want to show address create date we just want to show persons create great created date so i've removed that from the query this is what my query looks like currently i just have to say alter on alter my view and actually just execute this and this is what is going to happen if i go back to so let's select list from my view again you will see that we don't have that column and same story you can you can modify you can chop and change you know as you go along 
doesn't really stop you from you know doing you know you can remove country if you go there you see that country is gone i can say i don't want postal code anymore same story run that select postal code is gone like that so you can you can you can actually just keep on updating your view as to what you want it to be and once you're done then you actually like um you know it's it's there and you can always use it so that is actually um you know one of the core things that i want to show you in terms of view and also i just want to also mention that you can also also uh you know um have a a, a a an indexed view where you can actually have an indexed view um using the keyword schema binding so schema bind schema binding and that would actually help you in terms of maybe performance if you want to like um speed up the performance of your um you know of your view maybe for some reason you just want to you want to optimize it you want to make it go faster because what i have currently is just a normal view and anytime you call this actual person's details view it will always go you know trigger this actual query and go fetch the, the data from the db so um that would actually be your assignment see how you can create an indexed uh, view and and you know let me know like share your experience share your thoughts on how you were able to achieve that um also in you know in our space we actually make use of materialized view this is actually also one of the things that we use when it comes to like writing you know um making sure that we we increase our performance in terms of you know our queries and you know so so but this is just what i would like to show you in terms of views um in in the actual next video you're going to be looking at this is going to be exciting because we're getting close to the end but this is going to be we're going to be looking at stored procedures and functions you know like what are they and how can you use them and so we would we'll touch on this in in my next video keep well